a three run lead until that seventh inning. Just how badly does this one sting? Um, yeah, it definitely stings. Got a chance to really salvage the trip and, um, you know, they put some good, good at bats together to get back in the game, obviously. Um, but we, you know, we obviously take away a lot of good from, from the way packs through the ball. And, um, so <clears throat> kind of regroup in the off day and, and get ready for a homestand. You mentioned James Paxton. What stood out to you the most prior to that seventh inning? Um, just, I, I thought just great conviction and, and confidence that he threw the ball with. And, and it just goes to show you he can go through lineups even, you know, with where he doesn't have all his velocity back. We saw a little tick up in that velocity, but his execution was excellent. You know, he mixed in the change up as well, but his fastball played really well. Um, you know, the curve and the cutter were there for him. I just thought he was really a sharp, really on the attack, just had that aggressive mindset we saw from Pax most of last season. And and this is a, a huge stepping stone for him, I think. I know he had been rolling, but he threw just 62 pitches last time out. He was well into the 80s. You had Holder warming up. Do you second guess sticking with Paxton in that situation? Well, I mean, I think you always do that a little bit. Um, felt like 85 or 90 with Pax today was was where we were comfortable going. Um, and then after he got the pop-up of Renfro um, for the first out after the double, you know, he – I have to look it back, but it looked like he made a decent pitch that Brasso got the head to for the two run homer. Um, you know, and then I wanted him to face Lau then at that point, the lefty on lefty, I felt like for his last hitter and Lau got him. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's, you're, you're always going to do that uh, when you, when you got somebody going there, but um, also felt like he was sound to go, to go get it. Thanks, Aaron. Mm-hmm. Take the next one from Ken Davidoff. Aaron, your uh, offense was up and down uh, this past week. How much do you attribute that to going against some pretty good pitching and, and how much to anything, uh, any liability on yours with your guys? Yeah, I mean, you know when you come here and play these guys that runs are going to be at a premium and, um, you know, they're very good at, at run prevention. You know, they they do a really good job of that. They have a lot of um, quality arms. They, you know, they match up really well, um, so they make it difficult. Um, so I, I think it's a little bit of that. You know, we still came in here and scored enough to to be able to win some games. Obviously, the first game, you know, where we lose one to nothing. Um, so attributed a little bit to that. I feel like we're we should be in a good spot here moving forward with with where our guys are. And just to reiterate, you're, you'll take tomorrow to figure out whether uh, whether you keep Estrada or do something else with that. Yeah we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that tonight. Thank you. Reminder to get your hands up if you want to get in the queue. Next question goes to Pete Caldera. Aaron, when, when you came to get Paxton, it looks like you, you left him with some encouraging words, kind of pump him up there. Is that you describe what you said there? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, just that this was a huge outing. You know, he's, you know, obviously been grinding hard and, and a couple of tough starts to start the season. And that I know how that weighs on you. But as we've seen him um, here in his Yankee career, anytime he's he's faced adversity, he's he's stared it down and, and answered the answered the call. And I thought today, you know, against a really good team to go out there and pitch as well as he did. Um, just proud of the effort he put forward. 